Hello everybody and welcome to Disney's Animal Kingdom. We, it feels like it's been forever since we've been here and the reason I came here today is because there's a couple of food items for Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month that I want to try out and uh, also I feel like I want to give uh, Flight of Passage another try. I feel like the first time I went my like 3D glasses weren't working all that well. I got kind of a bad seat so I think I should give it a second chance. So we're making our way over there now. We just got here for rope drop and it's a little bit crazy right now so we're gonna run over get in line for flight of passage and then just have a nice little day here at animal kingdom so come with us let's enjoy disney's animal kingdom here today I never really noticed that this uh, sculpture thing here out front of uh, Flight of Passage is an Ekron statue or sculpture. It's kind of cool, like the woven uh, wood or bamboo or whatever it is there. Yeah, it's an Ekron. Well, I feel like I had a much better uh, seat this time on Flight of Passage. Uh, it was a much better experience. Like my, like the goggles worked well, the 3D glasses worked well. Um, but I don't know, I'm still not sold. It was such a long wait. I think I waited 70 minutes for it. And uh, as I was like going through the gate, they had like the line backed up all the way through the land. As I was going through the gate, it ticked over to 80. I just don't know if I personally can justify waiting 80 minutes for that ride. Happy to do it again, but uh, unless it's like a walk-on or I were with family and I have like a lightning lane, I just don't know that I will uh, wait another 70 minutes for that ride. It's good. I was happy to have a better experience this time, but man, just that's a long wait for that ride for me. But again, let me know what you think. I, I know it's some people's favorite ride and uh, everybody that was coming off of it that had ridden it for the first time had nothing but good things to say about it. They were impressed by, you know, the, the ride mechanics and uh, just the, the video itself is really beautiful and everything. But uh, I don't know, maybe I'm just a cynic about that one. But let me know what you think in the comments. planning on going on a safari after I got off Flight of Passage, but I just looked at the wait times and it's 70 minutes for a safari. So I think we're gonna walk around and uh, see what Cali River Rapids is doing. That's one that I haven't ridden yet either. And uh, I don't know if I feel like getting soaked today, today, but we'll maybe check it out and see what it looks, what the people that are getting off look like. And if they're completely drenched, I'll have to make a decision. I was just about to go get on Cali River Rapids, but I wanted to see some people who were getting off. And everybody I saw was like a little bit wet on the front, splash, no big deal. 
But then as I like turned around, I saw this guy that was like walking off the ride and his pants were completely soaked, like dripping still as he was walking uh, back out off the ride. So no, no Cali River Rapids for me today. So let's go do the uh, Maharaja Jungle Trek and then I think we'll go back over and do the Gorilla Falls and, uh, and then maybe get some lunch from there. I'm getting kind of hungry. So let's go see some animals and then we'll go get some food. everywhere else in the park has been really busy today but look at this right here this little sanctuary we've got There's like no one around right now. I basically got this Maharaja jungle trek to myself. It's really nice. I don't know if it's like just because it's midday and everybody's eating lunch or if it's just kind of the crowds have disper dispersed a little bit, but uh, I'm really enjoying this. I mean, like, look, there's nobody, nobody around. Is that making you dizzy? So I was going through this door one time and somebody asked what these chains are for. And so I said, this is where they keep the tigers. And the look on that person's face of horror was kind of funny, but I also felt a little bit bad. through the bird area in here in the uh, Maharaja Jungle Trek. One of the other guests uh, got on the wrong wrong end of a, a bird doing his business and uh, well, it's good to know that she said that they have wipes, like wet wipes, uh, behind the, the Wilderness Explorer stations in these areas so you can uh, you get a little, little messy and clean up, no problem. Here's a little look at the wait times right now. Flight of Passage is 115, Navi River Journey 60, but everything else is like around 20, 25. So it's not too bad.
feel like this morning when the park opened, it was super busy and everybody was just like running over to uh, Pandora, which makes sense. Pandora is always the most uh, the, like busiest part of this park, um, but everything else seems to have kind of spread out and it's actually really nice right now. It's hot, but it's not super busy, which is nice. I think I'm moving on to uh, lunch now. We're going to go to Restaurant Tesaurus and get a couple of special menu items that they have for uh, Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month. So let's uh, head over to Restaurant Tesaurus. For Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month here at Restaurant Tesaurus, they have a couple of menu items um, that are a little bit Asian influenced. Uh, first up, we've got the Asian spicy chicken sandwich. It's just a fried chicken breast with Korean sauce, and then it's supposed to have a little pickled slaw on there. And all I really see are red onions and pickles, not a, like a pickled uh, red slaw. Um, so I'm less than impressed by the presentation, but let's see how it tastes. It reminds me a lot of the um, sandwich they have over at the Harambe Cafe, um, like their gochu chang like chicken sandwich. It's really good, um, but I just wish there was that like slaw on there that gave it some texture. As you can see, there's just like nothing, <laughs> nothing on there in the way of toppings. There's a couple of little slices of red onion and then like a little pickle underneath there. But that's it really. Also at Restaurant Saurus, they have the uh, Turning Red Cupcake. It's a vanilla cake with mandarin cream filling, honey mousse bao bun, crispy pearls, sweet magnolia blossoms, a chocolate garnish, and uh, meilin, or meilin with the uh, um, a little chocolate medallion there. And it, it looks amazing. The presentation on this is like fantastic. And it kills me to have to cut this open to get a bite of it, but how else are you going to manage? I mean, this cupcake is enormous. So. I'm gonna cut into this like honey mousse bao bun on top first. Take a little bite of that. That's delicious. That's really like light and flavorful. Now let's get a bite of this uh, cupcake here. Hopefully, it's got some filling in there. We can get a little bit of that too. There we go. All right, I think I got a bite of everything there. That's really good too. I think uh, their cupcakes are really solid. There's always so much frosting on them. Um, but I was really, really impressed by the last one that we had, the flamingo cupcake that had the strawberry buttercream and the guava in there. This one is good, but it, I don't think it holds a candle to that flamingo one. That was the best one I've ever had. But not too bad here. Uh, I'm enjoying my lunch at uh, Restaurant Tesaurus today. Well, our lunch over there at Restaurant Tesaurus is pretty good, but I do feel like the uh, chicken sandwich from Harambe Market is uh, a little bit better and the cupcake that we got from Flame Tree Barbecue was a little bit better last time. So good, but I don't know if it was uh, the f my favorite lunch I've ever had here. But speaking of Harambe Market, we're gonna head back that way because there's another uh, place that has a special kind of treat for Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month. So we're gonna walk back over there and give that a shot too. Look who we just ran into, Kevin. Kevin's out here. Hi, Kevin. <laughs> right across from Mr. Kamal's in Asia is uh, the Caravan Road, and they serve uh, shaved ice. And right now, for uh, Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month, they have a kakigori, which is a Japanese shaved ice flavored with watermelon and sweetened condensed milk. And I've had it for about 30 seconds, and it is almost completely melted already. So we're gonna get into this and see how it is. It's very good, but at this point, it's like a frozen drink. So I'm gonna hurry up and eat this, but it is very good. Yeah, that kakigori was good, but it like melted instantly. That's the only like downside to getting something frozen like that uh, in the summer in Florida. And, uh, uh, but it was good. I really like. I really enjoyed it. I think it was better than the cupcake and the uh, chicken sandwich that we got from Restaurant Asaurus. Um, but it's this is actually the first time I've been here since they had the 25th anniversary of Animal Kingdom. Also, so let's go shopping and see if there's any 25th anniversary merch still left or anything else that's come out since we were here last. If you're looking for Timon and Pumbaa, they still got them. A lot of them. 
feel like there's a couple new sets of ears that I haven't seen. This set here with uh, uh, Simba and Nala on it, and it's like kind of a, like a burlap material. I really like those, that's nice. And they're really like soft, plush too. And then they have like a matching uh, top for that one too. It's got that classic kind of uh, Lion, uh, Lion King print on there. It kind of reminds me of the old Sega game. Also, these ears look new to me. It's got Rafiki's like symbol. Simba. The thumb, you know, you gotta do the thumb across. I like those too. Those are really soft also. And then this spirit jersey is awesome. I love this with the sun sunrise on there. It's got, it looks like Mufasa and Simba, Timon, Pumbaa, Zazu, Rafiki. But I don't know, is it is it a grown-up Simba and young Simba or is it Mufasa and Simba? Either way, I love it. Very cool on the front. It's actually quite a bit of new Lion King merchandise. A bunch of these like shirts I don't think I've seen before. Maybe this one I've seen. But I know like this stuff over here, like this purple shirt. I haven't seen. This looks like it might be new. That's really cool stuff, I like it. There's a uh, black long sleeve here too. I don't think it's quite as thick as a spirit jersey with like a long sleeve shirt, but I really like that one, Hakuna Matata. That's one that I would wear right there. It's priced like a spirit jersey though. And they do still have quite a bit of the 25th anniversary merch out in the store. So here's a shirt, kind of like that. They've got the spirit jersey still out. Uh, there's like a tank here. Okay, it's nice to see that they still have plenty of uh, merchandise for the 25th. They still have a bunch of the 25th uh, lounge flies there. And Disney has been going all out with their anniversaries lately, huh? They got the 50th and the uh, 100th, and now the 25th here, 40th at Epcot. They've been doing a bunch of them. There's also a really nice button-up shirt here. It's kind of like reminiscent of the uh, Roosevelt's. It's got like elephants, uh, lion on there, rhino, all kinds of different animal animals on there. Oh, there's a tiger. And a bucket hat for the 25th also. A lot of stuff. Okay, so this is a uh, like a light box. I got one that actually turns on and you can kind of see that the light is on on that one and it's all sparkly. It's pretty cool. It'd be like a nice little night light. What is the overall strategy? This looks new to me also, this Bruno fanny pack here. It's got a couple of rats on there. I don't think I've seen it. And it's kind of like a leatherish material. It's a lounge fly also. It says we don't talk about Bruno on the back. It's kind of cool. I'm sure you could wear it, you know, crossbody or guys a fanny pack or whatever, but I don't think I've seen that before. Well, that's gonna do it for us here today from Animal Kingdom. Thanks so much for coming along and hanging out for a little while and uh, checking out some park updates, some uh, new food items for Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month. And uh, yeah, thank you again for coming along and watching. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't. My name is Travis, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.